everybody, John D. from John D. TV here, back with our house follow. We're on day 18, and you can see everything is coming along nicely. We have the most of the second floor up there. You can see on this uh, morning room that we have the trusses up, but we don't have the sheathing on, and we still have windows and doors. But what we want to do is we want to go inside and just take a look around at some of the features of framing and uh, show you guys a couple pointers. So let's go inside. So here we are on the second floor. You can see we have the whole truss system up. Um, they still have to add some bracing yet. So when we order trusses, it comes out with an engineered truss plan. It doesn't just show the layout of the trusses, but it also shows where all the bracing has to go. So we do have some straight bracing on the bottom, but when we come back later, you'll see there'll be diagonal bracing. There's all different types of braces and locations that are specifically pointed out on the truss plan that creates the strength of the roof in the end. So they'll also attach all the trusses down to the top plate. Sometimes they use a hurricane strap and sometimes they use a timber lock bolt that actually screws up through the top plate of the wall into the bottom of the truss and that helps hold the roof down. If you've ever seen videos of hurricanes, roofs can rip right off the top of a house. So building codes have come up with different ways to prevent that from happening. In the master bedroom here, you can see we have a tray ceiling. So the, the trusses are actually designed to have that tray ceiling built in. And what the framers will have to do is just in the corners of each area, they'll have to put in some stick framing in order to show that roof, the uh, tray ceiling wrapping around. So right now you can kind of see it started and it'll be interesting to see when they're all complete, the difference in, uh, with the additional framing inside. So here we are, we're in the sunroom area of the kitchen. They still have to frame the roof, as you can see. Um, so when we come back in a couple more days, we'll have this roof framed in and closed up. We're going to have the doors and windows in, and I'm excited to show you our flashing details around our doors and windows. Over my shoulder, you can see the septic system is put in. We installed the septic system early on this job because of the, we're in the wintertime conditions, and you cannot install a septic system when the ground's frozen. So we kind of pop that in ahead of time. We just need to cover it with soil. And that way we don't have any delays when we're wrapping the house up. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.